Hey guys, welcome back. ton of gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I make lots of Christmas gift guides both for my kids as well as my husband, stocking stuffers, stuff like that. I make Valentine's gift guides, birthday gift guides, Easter gift guides, all that type of stuff. So if any of that structure means if you really enjoy looking for <laughs> gift ideas then I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and checked out all my other content as well. And if you haven't already don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is the start of my gift guide series. So I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long and I forget how to breathe. So if I'm out of breath, it's because I'm not breathing enough. <laughs> so sorry. Anyway, this video is the start of my gift guide series and I am so excited. I love these videos. They're my absolute favorite to film and I know they're some of your very favorites to watch. I've had so many of you guys already message me and leave comments and let me know how excited you guys are for this year's gift guides and I'm just I'm excited to start with them so this one's actually a birthday gift guide but all of these ideas would be still really really great Christmas gifts birthday gifts Easter gifts what have you these are just really good ideas for your little ones so this particular one is geared more towards little girls or young children um, my daughter is turning six I have two kids my oldest is Olive and she's turning six and my youngest is Eleanor she will turn four in March, <clears throat> excuse me. And so this gift guide is all about Olive and all of the stuff that she's really into and they're kind of marketed towards the six year old age group um, and six year old age girl group. But that, I mean, of course, like don't just think like these are only girl toys or girl items. You do you, you know your children and your little one best and what they like. So I hope I just give you some good ideas and uh, yeah, so let's kind of jump into it. So I do want to quickly say that I will have everything linked below um, that I can as usual. I normally always try to link everything below for you guys so it's easy to shop. Um, but on top of that, these gifts are kind of for birthday gifts, at least for Olive and Eleanor. I try to do more of like special interest gifts um, versus like Christmas time because all of his birthday is so close to Christmas. I focus more on like the toy items that she wants like wants because I just feel like Christmas is so fun to get like fun toys and stuff like that. And for birthdays, I try to focus more on her special interests and things that she's really into and hobbies. So it's kind of how I do my gifts and I find it actually really easy to start shopping that way once you kind of like, oh, I don't know what to get. There's so many things. It's so overwhelming. But when you start really honing in like, okay, what are some hobbies that they really like to do or things that you think they'd be interested in? It really opens up a broad range of gift ideas. So that's kind of the like genre here um, and of course I have a couple tie-ins for the actual like party um, by party I just mean our little family um, since it's COVID and we're in a pandemic and we are not going out and celebrating we are doing a big spa day um, at my mom's house and the girls are gonna have face masks and pedicures and we're gonna watch a movie and they're gonna have a lot of different fun activities to go along with that so some of these items are also incorporated into their like her little party. So without me keeping babbling, enough of me babbling, let's just jump into the gifts. Okay, so the first two things I wanna talk about are kind of silly, but I feel like would be really fun gifts, especially, especially if you have a kid who's doing virtual learning. So Olive is currently um, in kindergarten and she's doing everything virtually and she's totally rocking it. She's doing such a good job. I'm so, so proud of her. Um, and so she uses a Chromebook for her Zoom classes and all of her assignments. And so I thought to kind of soup it up, also help to protect it, I would kind of add some fun little things to kind of make her Chromebook a little bit more exciting. And so I found this keyboard cover, keyboard, keyboard, keyboard cover on Amazon. Um, and this is specifically for her laptop, but you can find it just for about any laptop. But it's rainbow. And I know she's gonna freak out because it's rainbow and makes her laptop all pretty, but this is such a good item because it also protects it. I cannot tell you the amount of junk and nastiness that is already on the keyboard. I'm gonna have to do a deep clean before I like pop this on. But I feel like this would be so helpful, even if you don't necessarily have a kiddo, 
his birthday coming up or something like that but just if you have a kiddo doing online learning and using a laptop this would be a really good idea this would also be a really great stocking stuffer um it's small and it was just it's a helpful it's a useful gift but it's still really fun and pretty so i think she's gonna be really excited but it like just also saves the computer so get it back in the case this was also really inexpensive um i believe it was like seven dollars so highly recommend it had a lot of really good reviews I have to get that in later okay and the next thing is this mouse pad so um this one says unicorns are real and i just think it's really pretty and really fun so she actually has like a desk that we purchased if you watched all of my back to school videos my virtual learning classroom setup and stuff you will see she has a desk at my mom's that's where we do school for pred predominantly but sometimes we'll do it here if somebody's not feeling good or it's been like really cold out or my mom's busy or something like that and we don't go over to my mom's house we'll do it at the t our dining room table here and just bring her tools over and stuff like that um and the mass the mouse the mouse works just fine on our table but it can the table is wood and so it has a lot of ridges and dips and stuff like that so it's it kind of annoying so i thought this would be perfect just to keep here one it's cute it soups up her little home area but it also is useful for her mouse so this is another just utility item but it's just really cute and really fun and this is was also pretty inexpensive um this is kind of like a gift to go together i originally had planned to also do her blue light glasses um for it as well but i didn't want to wait that long she's had her blue light glasses now for probably a couple months and we love them i will have them linked below but that is another really good item they're really fun they're really cute hers are pink um but they've been really great in helping to protect her eyes and i feel like those would also make a really great stocking stuffer if you're looking at this for more of a christmas perspective all right, so when I asked Ollie really what she wanted for her birthday, the main thing she said was art and coloring. That is the main thing she likes to do. She colors literally 24 seven. And it's something that she just really finds super enjoyable and she does such a good job. And I just thought, let's just dive more into that. Um, she already has a ton of scrapbook paper and sketchbook paper and colors and stuff like that So I wanted to get something that was a little bit more advanced for her um, as she's getting older And I found a bunch of these really cool like portfolio sketchbook creative things um, And I'm gonna share them with you really quickly. So These two are very similar. This one's by the brand fashion angels and this one's by the brand make it real but essentially they are little sketch pads of girls i'll show you you probably can't see it but there is like a sketch an outline of a girl um and then you have these stencils right here and they have pants and shirts and accessories and hair and all of these things that you trace around and then it teaches them about color theory it teaches them about patterns and trying to like basically fashion design um and shading and outlining um here's some things about color theory and then this one also comes with like stick on accessories as well if she wanted to add those um but i feel like this will be such a good idea it's still educational but it really sparks her creative juices flowing um and i think she's gonna really really like this i gave one of these to a little girl a couple years back i think she was turning seven um and she loved it it was such a hit these are really inexpensive and i feel like are a really really good gift idea um because they're really fun and they're perfect for the age group so this is six plus i think all of these are six plus and marketed towards that age so this is a really great time to start it's kind of like a fun tweeny type of gift even though she's only six but just kind of getting into that like fun girly like wanting to create side i really love it so this is the fashion angels one this is the make it real i like the um illustrations better and the sketches better but i find that the fashion angels ones are just a little bit better to me for instance this only has one um little um stencil and it only keeps with like a shirt a dress and some shorts and you can't change it which is kind of frustrating um so she has to keep with that idea and some of the girls already have clothes on so she just has to like shade in um but then some of them don't i don't know i liked the other one better um i just feel like it's a bit more user friendly it has a lot more options but i like the illustrations of this one better however if i was going to purchase one i would suggest the um fashion angels and i believe i got all of these on amazon but i want to say target has them 
And then this one is really exciting. This is the Beauty Guru one. And this was a makeup artist sketch set. And this is also by Fashion Angels. And likewise, this comes with like some stick-on accessories, barrettes, jewelry. But it also comes with a bunch of stencils for eyelashes, gems, lipstick, some uh, hair pieces for like braids, jewelry, all that type of stuff. And then it teaches them step by step, same thing, color theory, how, knowing how to shade, how to use the stencils, and then adding in the accessories at the end. Um, but the, another thing that I like about this particular one, one, it's a full face model too, which is really fun. Um, but they also have this one just right here where she can just do practice just doing lips or practice just doing eyes, which I think is just really cool. And these offer a lot more pages, unlike the make it reels to me. So if you were going to pick one, I would pick the fashion angels, but I still think that the make it reels are really cool. And if that's the only option you have, I still think it's a really awesome gift and I'm really excited. I think she's going to love this. To go along with that, I wanted to get her a nicer set of colored pencils. So she's had a ton of different colored pencils, but they're mostly just by Crayola or Rosard or whatever. Um, is it Rosard anymore? Is it Rosard? That doesn't seem right. That just makes me think of like being a kid, but I feel like that's not the right brand. Whatever, just inexpensive colored pencils. But for these types of things, you really want colored pencils that blend really well and really help with shading. And so I decided to buy her a nicer pack of colored pencils. Now, these aren't super expensive. They're not Prisma colors or anything like that. These are just Amazon basics, but they're premium colored pencils, so they were a bit more expensive. I think these were still under $10, but there's only 24 of them. But it comes in a really nice metal tin case to keep them all in. And so these are just gonna be her really nice colored pencils that she takes care of fingers crossed and she uses for her sketching and her shading and her designing um and i'm excited i'm i hopefully she can feel the difference i always like using nicer color pencils because you can totally feel the difference when you're coloring or drawing all right keeping it on the same kind of coloring and creating theme this is actually from my sister-in-law but i wanted to include it because it's something that i've been thinking about buying all of for a while now um and it's actually marketed towards six plus as well and so i'm kind of excited because i think she's gonna freaking love this um but this is the crayola ultimate light board now these always go on really really great sales during this time of year but basically it's just almost like a neon black light type of board where you just be able to create and it lights up and i just think this is so much fun they have a white like the board is reversible so it's black or it has one where it's white and you can or i think you can trace too so you can put your own papers in it um she can practice writing she's so into writing right now and writing her words out and reading and i just feel like this will be a really fun useful thing for her and it'll be fun for her sister as well i hope that it works um as as I'm hoping as it does. Crayola normally makes really good products. So fingers crossed, but I think this is a really cool idea and I'm really excited for her to try it out. So thank you to my sister-in-law. All right, these next items I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Like I said, she really wanted everything art. So I found these Kawaii rock arts. She's been wanting to paint rocks so badly, but I wanted to get her rocks that were smooth like pebbles versus the ones that we have at our place, which are really rough and rigid and hard to paint. Um, and so I found this set, this was $7.99, but I believe it was 40% off or 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And it has just a bunch of different fun, I guess stencils I'm assuming, um, but it's paint two pounds of premium stones. And I just think this is totally up her alley and is super cute. These are really good ideas for this time, especially if you are virtual learning or hopefully you guys are all social distancing and we're staying in and trying to beat this pandemic the best that we can. And if you have little ones and it's gonna be a cold, long winter, you need things to do, um, these are really great options. So that is the rock art. And then I also found this one, this is by Spark. And this was $3.99, I think I also bought this for like a buck or so. Um, and it's just painting unicorns and butterflies and rainbows and, you know, anything that she, things that she likes. She likes to use these for decorations. She likes to use these in the garden. They're just really fun for her. So this is a really just a good idea. And this would also be a nice stocking stuffer or a small gift. So we've had these before and she's had the, these before, but I don't think she's had this one, but these are the Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pads. These are super, super great. Now, 
I got these for her when she was a lot younger and just really interested in stickers and I feel like these are really really great um, fine motor development items because they're reusable stickers so they can pick them up and move them but to practice pulling a sticker off placing it picking it up again um, is a really really great tool if you have little ones who are really into stickers or just around the age group I feel like about 18 months maybe not 18 months maybe like 24 months two years old to three this is marketed towards three years old, um, but just really focusing on trying to pick up, you know, things and moving them around, stickers. Um, and then this is, I feel like really great for a little, a little bit older, like my, um, like Olive's age, because she's really into storytelling. So she really loves to create, like I said, and draw, but then she likes to take those pictures and those figures that she makes and play with them and use them in her stories so much what i like to do when i was a little kid they had this game and i think it was by a brand called mead and it was like a writing basically a writing game and you could write out your whole story um it had paragraphs and then you could like create these like clip art pictures i would play that game for hours it was my favorite thing in the whole entire world it probably is why i love writing so much now and then i discovered sims and i felt like it was kind of like that but i didn't have to write um but it was so much fun and this totally gives me those vibes just not on computer just being able to take pictures and have scenes so this is the fairy one um and they have like a little fairy home a little like meadow area and the little stream and i just think this will be so much fun for her to create and use make-believe and this will be fun for her sister too these are really inexpensive i think this was like 3.99 or so and you can buy a pack of like three or four um if you have a number of little kiddos um, but once again another really good idea for staying indoors during these long winter months as i'm saying long winter months and i'm wearing a gosh darn like spaghetti strap dress because it's freaking almost 80 degrees outside in texas Alright, this next thing is kind of an educational, not kind of, it is an educational item, um, but I think she's going to love it. This is the Science Learning Lab Set. So she has just been so into science um, during her kindergarten time and wanting to create and mix potions and do experiments all the time. She loves it. So I thought getting her a lab set would be so much fun. Now this one doesn't come with like experiments inside or anything like that, but it does come with all the tools that you would need in like a regular lab setting. So there are like, there's a lab jacket, lab coat. Um, there's gloves, beat little test tubes, droppers, um, forceps. There are beakers and funnels and goggles so i'm so excited this is another really great option if you are doing virtual learning or homeschooling i really like it i also like that these are nice quality but they're plastic and they're not glass so they're not going to break them um and i'm really excited i think she's going to love this i'm sure she's going to be like let's find experiments now um, but I like this item, item a lot and I think this was like around $16 um, and I think this would be a really fun sci or science themed Christmas present or gift if you have a little one who's really into science as well and I really like that one. I'm excited for that for her as well. Alright, so like I said, I only got a couple of toys. Actually, I don't think I said that. I only got a couple of toys. I got a Barbie doll that is supposed to be here now but i don't think it's coming in time but it's the new barbie extras i will probably i don't know if i'm gonna give it to her birthday or keep it for christmas i haven't decided yet but they're the new barbie extra dolls and they are fully articulated barbies who i feel like they're trying to be similar to like the rainbow high dolls or like the lol omg dolls um or the hair adorable dolls just more um just fun creative extra barbies so they have them on all different ethnicities all different body shapes i really really like them there's only a few out now but i'm really excited to see how that collection grows um and ollie's been really really wanting a fully articulated barbie that's been her biggest thing and she's been talking about non-stop lately and they have the made to move barbies but they just seem so blah and so when they brought these out i was like this is perfect so i ordered her the original just barbie um and i will have a picture of it up here and she has like unicorn pink big pet and like uh, fun pink hair that's crimpy with little buns and glasses and she's like incredibly over the top and amazing and I love it I'm so excited and so that should be here but they just released um, so it's running behind so I haven't decided if I'm going to include it in her birthday gift and just give it later or if I'm going to give it to her during Christmas time I haven't decided yet but that is another thing I ordered um, but these are the other two items 
These are the Disney Animators Collections, um, Little Elsa and Anna. Um, I almost said Anya because if you have a little one who watches YouTube Kids, have they watched the Elsia and Anya YouTube channel? For the love of all that is holy, that is all I hear all the time. And so the girls have been really in to wanting to play with more like Chelsea dolls and like the baby princesses. And so I know that they had these come out not too long ago at the Disney store. Um, and we have a gift card, so I thought, what the heck, let's just get these. I feel like they're perfect for both of them to be able to play with and so they can share them together. But they're really cute. They're the Elsa and Anna little toddler dolls, but they come with beds. And then Olaf is in this one. They have little uh, nightgowns. And then um, Anna has a little doll with a little crib. And I just thought these are really perfect. They're also really well, I think, perfect for like the LOL dolls, um, the little original ones, so they can have beds. So anyway, these retail for $19.99. I think I got them on sale for like $14. Um, hopefully they're good quality. I sometimes feel like with the Disney store, it really is hit or miss and they charge you an arm and a leg and sometimes the quality is just and other times quality is incredible. So you just never know. Hoping for good, good ones here, but these are her two like toy quote unquote items that I got her. Lastly, I got this to go with the Barbie extra, but since it's not in, once again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But this is the Barbie accessory kit. Um, besides just wanting an articulated Barbie she wanted more Barbie accessories which I wish that they came out with more like room kits like more kitchen and accessories more living room kits things that actually included furniture without like random kits like a pizza oven and stuff like that I want more like realistic things I wish that Barbie had more of that I feel like they used to when I was growing up and now not as much um I wish there was more of that but Anyway, um, I thought this would be fun for her. She loves to play birthday with her Barbies. Um, like everyone's always having a gosh darn birthday and having a big party. So I thought this was fun. It has a gift, it has a happy birthday crown, it has a birthday balloon that lights up. Um, I believe it lights up, it may not. It just looks like it does. I don't think it actually lights up. Well, whatever. Anyway, it was inexpensive and I think it's just a fun accessory kit for her to have. She's getting older, but she really wants to like I said, just create storylines and use make-believe with her Barbies and really go in depth with them, which is something that I totally used to do. And it's so fun to see your kids growing up and seeing like resemblance in how you were as a kid and how they are. Um, anyway. All right, this is another thing that my sister-in-law got Olive and I wanna share this with you guys as well because I think this is a really cool gift. And this would be amazing for Easter or the springtime or Valentine's Day and it'd still be really great now, but it's a paint, plant, and grow, an all-inclusive fairy flower kit. So it comes with its own little um, planter and you can paint the plant. I feel like this is such a, just a fun, kit and such a really cool thing that can take a long time a couple of hours to really you know try hard and complete and then have fun to like kind of appreciate your work because you get to see the flowers grow so i think this could be so fun and my mom has a garden and olive is obsessed with it and she loves to be out there with my mom um and so this will be just like her own little garden that she can tend to like i said i don't know if we're gonna wait till the spring um because we are in texas and i just we don't know we don't get the deep freeze like we would up north, but I haven't decided yet, we'll see. Um, but this is ages um, five plus, so quality toy with life skills. So this is really cool. I will try to find it and link it below, um, but I think this would be a really fun gift as well. So I've been wanting to add more board games to our collection. We don't have a lot of space, so actually most of our board games go to live in my mother's house until we have a house that's big enough to house all of our things. Um, but I wanted to add a game for Olive, and I've been wanting to get this for a while, and it's always been out of stock, and I'm so excited I got this. But I got Pretty Pretty Princess. Do you guys remember this game? I loved this game, but I never got it. My parents never got it for me because they didn't, they knew that I couldn't play by myself and that my brothers would never play it with me and so I never got it so I'd only get to play with it at my friend's house but I always wanted it and I'm so excited that <laughs> the girls have it um, and I think it's going to be such a fun game. They recently re-brought it back because it says a classic 1990s game um, but they brought it back on Amazon and that's where I got it 
Um, but I feel like I can, there's some ones on Amazon that are like the originals that are like $150, but this one was like $16.99, but it looks the exact same. The board looks the exact same. It's just a basic fun game about becoming a princess and winning all like the jewelry and stuff. And that means you get the crown and are the official princess. It's ages five plus, but I'm pretty sure my three year old, almost four year old can play it just fine with our help. Two to four players. It's just a fun family game. And this we're going to play tonight as well, um, with the girls to go along with all of his party but i'm gonna wrap it up as a normal gift and then she can open it when it's time to play it so that is the next gift and i'm so excited about this one all right i promise we're nearing to the end i want to share with you guys this little outfit set i got at walmart this is from 365 kids olive is really into clothes that's another thing she really wants so i got this little holiday set because i thought it was really cute it just says bright and it has these little girls on it and they're just all in their little festive christmas outfit i liked it because it wasn't just like red and green it was like a fun colorful outfit and it comes with um, or they have matching pants and this one says all seasons long i think that's what it says all right, so like I mentioned, Ollie's party is actually a spa-themed party. I already have two holographic unicorn face masks ready to go over at my mom's. But so they didn't get it in their hair to add to the spa ambiance. I bought these packs of um, spa headbands. It came in a pack of six, and these are like all the rage, even though they've been out for a while. But I feel like TikTok is like blowing them up. And so this was, I think, the most popular one had the highest reviews and was like Amazon Choice. I really like them. They're really, really soft and they're really stretchy, at least some of them. Some of them are a little bit tighter, so if you're an adult and you have a rather large head like I do, they may be a little bit tight, but they do fit. But these are still perfect for little ones. My girls have giant heads. I think I've mentioned that before in videos. My kids' heads have never been, like when you get them measured as babies all around, they have never been on the charts. They've always been over 99 percentile off the chart every single time. We just have really large headed kids. And so um, these I think will fit perfectly regardless if they were meant for adults or not. So, but I still think if you have an average headed child, these will be just fine. Um, but I got a couple for them and I'm gonna have one, probably give my mom one um, because I wanna use it to wash my face and have one for makeup. Um, but they're really, really soft. I think they're really fun and like girly and fun for a spa day, but still useful. So I will have these, um, linked below but i think these will be great too um for stocking stuffers if you have a lot of girls to give little stocking stuffers for or if you um you know like are making small gifts and you can include like a face mask maybe like a body lotion and then this that would be like a fun easy little spa day kit at home so anyway little spa headbands and then um i also got them each a pair of pajamas i wanted to get them matching ones but from all of the i went to three different walmarts and none of them had eleanor size so um ollie will have these ones but these are so cute i should have ordered them online instead of waiting to go to the store but i waited too long um i may still order one for eleanor because i think they're so adorable but these are the wonder nation sleep sets and this is like the gingerbread cookie one um it has a bunch of little cookies on it it's so cute these are like the little waffle knit um thermals and it comes with the little mini sleeping masks i think these are around 12 dollars, 11 or 12 dollars but these are such a good little christmas pj set they have a bunch of different patterns but this one to me is like my fave um and so that one's olives and then eleanor i got this little really cozy soft fleecy nightgown it just is a little penguin and has buffalo check sleeves as well as on the back um this is a size four or five it's probably going to be a little bit big on her but it's something she can grow into i wanted to get specifically christmas pjs um but I'm, i think i'm still going to try to find this set in eleanor's size because they're so cute and then lastly i think this is the last thing to share with you guys so woohoo we made it to the end lastly um to go along after their face masks and everything i got this glitter tattoo art kit um, i got this off of amazon and it's just basically making your own glitter tattoos you have stencils the glitter glue and then the glitter um non-toxic safe and fully tested this one had the best reviews i think um and there's a bunch of different stencils 24 cute stencils and i just think this will be really fun for them to add to their spa day make it super fun and girly um but this is another fun thing that you can keep 
for a long time and just bring on out when the going gets tough and we're at home. So um, I just think these are really cute. I, we've gone to a number of different little birthday parties. A lot of times they will have like the princesses come and all dressed up in their outfits and they always bring these and Ollie always loves them. And so I think this will be really fun for them now that they can do it themselves. Once again, kind of like an artistic present and gift but i think that is it i think i covered everything um i hope this gave you guys some ideas of course like i said these are not limited to just birthdays they'd be perfect for christmas presents they'd be perfect for easter gifts little fun gifts throughout the year valentine's presents what have you whatever you do you guys know if you've watched my channel for a while i like to go all out for presents normally it's just fun for me i like to spoil my girls and to be honest they have given up a lot this year they've been through a lot they have been incredibly resilient and just are thriving in every way possible that they can um during this time and i'm just so thankful for them i'm so thankful for their constant just effort and love and kindness and compassion despite the hardships that we're all facing in the scary days and having to give up so much and not be able to see our friends and do all those things so I don't mind spoiling them and letting them know how much I love them and appreciate them and to give things for them to enjoy at home to do so anyway that is it thank you guys so much for watching like I said don't forget to subscribe because coming up we are going to have my what I got my kids for Christmas video, what I got my husband for Christmas video, um, stocking stuff for gift ideas. I'm also going to do a kind of a girl themed gift guide for teenagers to adult women to young girls, what have you. It's going to all be all encompassing for some fun gift ideas as well. And I'm so excited to share those things with you. So keep a watch out. I have another plus size fashion haul coming. I have my Christmas decor haul coming up. Um, or decorate with me so if you're excited for the holidays and i'm looking off for tons of just holiday fun themed videos then please stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys